you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Just want to give you an update on how I'm doing. Maybe we'll talk about some RC stuff. Mainly what I want to talk about is my journey with uh, my gastric bypass surgery that I just had. Um, today is Sunday. My surgery happened last Tuesday. I don't really remember much immediately after that. A lot of pain, a lot of cramping in my stomach. I got, hopefully you guys don't turn off after you see my gut, but I got holes everywhere where they went in. In here, there was a hiatal hernia, which I found out means that some of my intestines were shoved up through my diaphragm. That's what a hiatal hernia is. So they pull that out and stitch that up and do whatever they do. That part really hurts. So I'm walking around carrying my fat roll, trying to make it so it doesn't bounce or stretch and hurt. Uh, but anyways, um, I'm home. I'm off work for a couple weeks, just recovering and loving life. I'm feeling super blessed. Today is a much better day than yesterday. And yesterday was a much better day than the day before. And that has been the trend since Tuesday. And my wife said that when I got out of surgery, she said that the only thing that I could say was my name and my birthday. I was, I was pretty out of it. I was in a lot of pain. It was pretty nauseous. The pain medication is a big problem for me because well, I'm a drug addict and that was my drug of choice is pain medication. I have six years clean now. I have consoled with my doctor, a couple doctors, uh, my counselor, my sponsor, my wife, my grand sponsor. Um, everyone knows what's going on with me. I have not touched my medication. I let my medication come to me from my wife. And honestly, today I haven't had any uh, pain medication other than Tylenol, and I'm doing okay. I'm tolerating the discomfort just fine. Now's the healing part. Now's when the work starts. I had kind of an epiphany the other night. So getting ready for a bariatric surgery is like a year long process. So we started this last October. There's a lot that goes into it, mentally and physically and spiritually, honestly, because um, a lot of this I have to give to my higher power wasn't supposed to be till October this year. That ended up getting moved August 16th uh, and I had a week notice. I was off the rails with my diet plan when they called me. I had been slipping, you know, kind of messed things up. So that was kind of a, a big wake up call, which was good. You know, I got myself figured out real quick, got onto the liquid only diet. And the last couple days or the last day before surgery was clear liquids only. So only water, uh, pretty much or clear protein, which is a thing. Ugh. Um, sorry, I found something that my hands want to do right now. So this is the front kind of bulkhead protector bumper type piece that goes with the STRC, um, eight scale buggy kit for the Traxxas slash four by four. Um, it's a good looking piece, but as soon as you hit something, that thing is gone. It's bent out of whack. Um, you can see the stress marks where the screws go in right here. There's these, all these stress marks that go across there. So, uh, stress marks up here. Kind of looks like my belly. Stretch marks, right? Anyhow, um, so I took that off and working on something else for that. I got stickers. I got stickers from Bars and Tone. If you guys don't know who he is, check him out. Awesome guy. Puts out good content. He posted up on the community page on YouTube. Says, I made stickers. You want one? Let me know. I said, hey, I'll take one. And he, he sent it to me free of charge. Thank you so much, brother. Much love. I appreciate that. No cash, no bash. That's uh, so true, isn't it? And that's something, something else. I finally got my Scale Builders Guild stickers. I am so happy about these. Pumped, right? Um, all the way from Canuck Land. Uh, all the way from Toronto, Ontario. From Matt. Thank you very much, Matt, Scale Builders Guild. I know you don't know who I am and you'll probably never watch my videos, but I can only dream to be as big as you, sir. 
you tall, lanky, weird Canadian person who drinks flavored waters. Um, funny I should say that. I'm drinking flavored water now. No more Diet Pepsi ever again. I just can't do it. Carbonation is something that uh, bariatric patients cannot do. So yeah, that's done. I have not had solid food in over a week. I'm drinking protein shakes and water, espresso shots, mix out with my protein shakes, and I'm doing okay. I'm not hungry. A lot in my head. I desire things, but I don't need them and I don't want them because I know they're bad for me. I went to a meeting last night and something just popped into my head that having this surgery and being in the position I am in life to where I'm able to have this surgery close to home. I didn't have to go to Mexico. I didn't have to travel. I was blessed enough to have good insurance uh, through my wife, of course. This surgery is a bigger blessing than winning lottery. This surgery is a bigger blessing than millions of dollars. Because you know what I wouldn't do if I won a million dollars? Or billions of dollars, trillions, whatever. I probably wouldn't have bariatric surgery at the top of my list. I'd probably have a personalized chef making me a birthday cake every day. I love me some birthday cake. I'd probably have a Diet Pepsi uh, machine installed in my house. I'd still keep drinking that aspartame poison garbage. Um, it'd buy me a lot of RC cars but it wouldn't make me not fat so I could go play with them. So yeah, I'm realizing that I have so much to be grateful for. I'm so thankful that I have had the surgery. I think that in the long run, this is gonna improve the quality of life that I have and the quality of time that I can give to my 11 year old son, Carl, who will be 12 soon. And he's starting to get to that age where he's gonna start drifting away and I've been overweight and unable to run around and chase him and ride bikes with him this whole time just because of the state of my body and my back, my knees, my hands, my wrists, my ankles, my toes, my fingers. Everything hurts when you're fat. When you're carrying an extra one and a half people on your body, everything hurts all the time. And I'll be 43 in seven days. I really need right now in my life patience. I just found out that I could do that buy me a coffee thing, even though I have less than a thousand subscribers. There's a link in my bio. Um, I'll see if I can put a link in the description for this video. Um, uh, so if people want to support me, that would be cool. That would give me more incentive to do more videos if people like what I do.